What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be rating your teams. I tweeted out send teams, I got about 150 replies, and there is a chance I will, a very much more likely chance this year than last year, that I will rate your team. Because last year if I tweeted send teams, I'm not going to lie, it was getting like 800 replies. At least that's a positive of the game being down a little bit. But... Before we do get on to that, lads, if you guys are new and you guys aren't on so rare, basically it is an NBA fantasy app where you can, if you want, buy players. So far, I haven't chosen to do that. I have just been playing the free game mode. And obviously, this it starts a little bit. So, for my teams, I got some good players. Like, I got Jason Tatum. I got Jamarant. I got a new Cam Johnson yesterday. And you guys can play completely for free. That's what I'm doing. Obviously, there is going to be the option to go and pay. Heck, on Wednesday, there's going to be a live auction for a LeBron, which I can see selling for like 200k. Clearly. Clearly, we had a range, price range for anyone, including myself. But if you guys want to play it for free, it is a really fun fantasy game mode, which I play and enter teams in twice a week. I have not put in a cent. Do not worry. It can be free. You can only you can put in money if you want to. But anyway, yeah, now let's get on to this. So, this is a flex team. Please, this is arguably the best team in the game. Other than Yao Ming. But looking at this guy's squad, considering the fact that he's an unauctionable Simmons, unauctionable Chet, unauctionable him. Does he have unauctionable Magic? Yeah, he's probably spent a lot on packs and unauctionable Tatum. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this is the type of guy who's going to get Yao tomorrow. Let's just say that much. He's the type of guy that's going to go, yeah, tomorrow. So, MJ is 26 halves. Look, I'm not... Like, I understand why people want Michael Jordan. I do understand that. I just don't think he's very good. Even with all those halves. DeMar, your bench needs a lot of work. And I mean a lot of work. So, you've got 120 KMT. As okay as DeMar, I'm cool. Your point guards are good. Um... Marcus Saul should definitely play center and Shadow Power Forward. The positions that I would probably focus on, I would definitely, definitely have DeRozan out of your team. Look, even if you don't want to spend much coins, Luol Deng, especially because your name is Bulls Nation, Luol Deng would be the perfect player to put in there at the three. Levine, the two is fine. Like, your team's all unauctionable, so it is, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Haven't upgraded team since season three. Um, what can you do? Okay, so every player here is untradeable or locked in. Um, It all depends on how much coins you have. Someone in the comment section said Amethyst Penny and Wesley Person. Yeah, Amethyst Penny is probably the guy you want a point guard. He's better than both Pete Maravich and um, DeJounte. I locked in for Pete Maravich, but trust me, Pete Maravich was not that good. Um, There is no card here that came out after Season 2. So I'm guessing you just got Tim Thomas and stopped playing at Season 2. Um, centers, like, look, you would have to probably revamp, to be honest. Kareem can, Kareem stay. Tim Thomas obviously stay. Kareem stays. And Worthy can probably survive out there. I wouldn't run Worthy, but he can stay. So, you really need, like, an Amaria power forward sets you back 20k. Um, Wesley Person, Penny Hardaway are your one and two. Maybe a Luol Deng. You know, off the bench at center, maybe Marcus Saul. Power forward off the bench. Even a Amethyst Anthony Davis is a lot better than that. Zion. I'm trying to think of good two guards you can run. I mean, you can play DeRozan at the two. He's fine there. And then point guard. Maybe Evo DeJounte, honestly. Because he's locked in. You might as well just Evo DeJounte. But yeah, this team is... At this stage of the game, even though you've got Tim Thomas, I would still call this a 4 out of 10 squad. Maybe 5 out of 10. This is a really interesting um, team. Like Shane Battier, not only Shane Battier is nice. Your point guards need a lot of work. They don't really. Like, you're not gonna get that much better at the point guard position for cheap. You're really not. Like, if you have 50, you have 450k. So Lamelo Ball is an obvious one. Lamelo Ball is an obvious one there. But like after Lamelo Ball under 50k, Mark, I would say like Shea and Penny are probably the two best. Lamelo, I would probably go for. I know some people like Lonzo, I prefer Lamelo. Uh power at center. It all depends on whether or not... This is a 2KDB squad. So, 
I don't. I'm assuming you have unauctionable pow because nearly everyone has unauctionable pow. You probably would have sold them if you weren't. Um, Scotty's unbelievable. The two I'm guessing unauctionable as well. Badia is really good. Joe Smith's really good. I would say the only real like Dang's re or Dang's really good. I would say honestly, Lu um, Lamelo Ball and they just hold. There's nobody yet that you need to buy your MT for. Did he really? Did Fat Buzz really just say the word teams? The man who's streaming Harry, he's streaming Harry Potter right now. My team's down so bad. My team's down so bad that we're seeing next maker stream Harry Potter. But um, what what a guy, Fat Boss. What a guy. One of the best people in the community. Um, but 120 pack, pack box, everything else is from free packs or locker codes. Uh, I would sell Shaq, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so you've got 20k. Shaq is definitely not as good as Marcus Gasol. I would play Marcus All. You have Simmons. You have Chet Holmgren. You got Lonzo unauctional. I'm guessing from Christmas. You got Plumber of the Year, Bailey Hell. Paul George is fine at the two. Like I'm not the highest on PG. He's fine though. Um. Obviously, you don't have Ishian Leon. Um. Willis Reed's good. I prefer Willis Reed to Bam, but again, that's a preference thing. I'm trying to think. Of, you probably need like Marcus All at center. Get rid of Shaq and then just a backup center that you can get for the price of Shaq. Or even if you don't mind Shaq selling Mobley and buying Marcus All is probably the move. Even if you do like Shaq. But yeah, Marcus All is definitely a guy that I would guess. He's probably gonna be most people's I would guy I would suggest for most people at center. Um Candyman. If you're saying Candyman is a move, I assume you have Candyman. You really got Miles Turner over Chetty Osman. Oh, wow. That is a rough decision. I'm sorry. That is a rough decision. Miles Turner over Chetty. No, that's wild. That's wild because Chetty should be your starting shooting guard. Chetty Osman should be that two guard. Obviously, your point guard's absolutely elite. You got 600k. Um, shooting guards. There's no need to upgrade. Wiggins is good enough that you don't need to buy anyone instead of him, but I would prefer... I think Chetty Austin's better. Scotty, perfect. PG is auctionable. I probably would get rid of Lakers' Paul George. He has 600k, so... Like, there are guys you can run that are better than Paul George, and Lu Deng is one of them. You can save coins and... And get a better upgrade by Luol, by getting Lou Aldang. But if you want a power forward for around that 40k range. Or a small forward for around that 40k range. Lamar Odom's a better option than Paul George. Carl Malone. Look, I hate Carl Malone. I'm maybe at best on my team. He's 13th man. But he's definitely a really good power forward. And Moss Turner. For me personally. I would. This is a tough one when you're saying KG at center now. Because. Three of your best players are power forwards. And Miles Turner, you could argue, is better than Candyman. I, I wouldn't say he's better than Candyman, but an argument can't be made. I would I would have Candyman somewhere on your bench. I would have to have Candyman somewhere on your bench. But getting rid of Carl Malone, Eugene Leon, or Kevin Garnett is a tough one as well. Solid, eight out, solid 9 out of 10 team. Still running Derrick Rose, wow. Wow. I would sell Kawhi if I were you. Um, yesterday's your first day back on since season two. Willing to sell anyone except for Shea and Isaac. Ben and Clay are unauctionable. Um, who's Ben? Oh, Ben Wallace. Oh, Ben Wallace. Jesus Christ. I thought that was Ben Simmons. No, Ben Wallace. That is not who you want. Have about 100k. Uh, I would say move one of Cat or Gasol to your bench. Move Isaac up to your four. Or keep Isaac there. Actually, honestly, Amethyst, sell Kyrie, buy Penny Hardaway. Um, then sell Mello, sell Zion. Like you've got, you, you can't, you cannot run any of those guys in the bench, including Clay Thompson. He sucks. He absolutely sucks. So get yourself, you have 20k, or see so you have 100k. Go move Marcus all to center, get Amethyst 
Over this Anthony Davis for power forward. Shooting guard start Wesley Person. Off the bench at shooting guard play Luol Deng. Off the bench at small forward. Honestly, Cam Reddish. Um, actually, you know what? You have Clay. You have Clay on auctionable. So just keep Clay there. Off the bench move um, Luol Deng to the three. Start Wesley Person. Penny at the one. And power forward center. You have 100k, so actually move AD to your bench. Start Amari Stoudemire, and then backup center is going to be Carl Anthony Towns or Gasol, whichever one you don't like want to start. That is what you should run. You probably will only lose, I don't know, 20k? 20k, you need that. You need that. That Your team is very weak. I mean, again, you've only been playing since you've barely played, but okay. Um... Good cards you think will work well and will be fun and don't update too often. 50k generally run an ISO offense. Okay. If you're saying you just want to have fun, then I'm not sure you you really want you really want too many tips, but um yeah, you're gonna have to sell you should sell a lot of these guys. Like Lonzo's fine, especially because he's an auctionable. Um Isaac's fine, Candyman's fine, Wong Gigi's fine. I would sell everybody else. I would sell everybody else. I don't even mind. I don't even mind uh, Danny Green. Look, Dame's not very good. Penny Hardaway off the bench. Maybe even start Penny Hardaway. Move Alonzo off the bench. Shooting guards, obviously. If you're looking, even if you're looking to have fun, Wesley Person, you you gotta have him in the squad. Um, and Dang's gotta be somewhere. You got fifty k Wesley Person Dang, and you're not even like losing coins off. You're not even losing too many coins off selling Danny Green and Mo Peterson. Franz can stay. He's cool. Jared Vanderbilt, I would definitely sell because you can replace him with a 1500 MT AD who's better. Candyman and Wong GG, both perfectly fine at center. And then power forward. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Terry Mills. Terry Mills, really, really good. Yeah, you probably, and you keep around 50K, but your team gets way, way better. Your team gets a lot better in that scenario. Oh, man, I miss, I miss this. The day... This Vince Carter was like the lock-in for NBA is back. And then it, that was the last day of August. I'm going say that was the last day of July. And in the 1st of August, Oscar Robertson came out. And I remember that 31st of July, 1st of August is my first and only million view 48 hour period in um, on my My Team channel. And it also has been up there. I'm pretty sure it's one of the only, as far as exclusive My Team creators, since 2K17, since 2K probably 16 of the boom, boom, of the actual boom, with Jesser and Cash, that anyone did it. So I have fond memories of this weekend in 2K, but um, no, that was NBA 2K20. That was 2K20. That was when DBG really hit his peak. But um, yeah, let's just take a look at any of these squads. Any of these, like a lot of really good squads here, by the way. A lot of really... Is that for Cesc Fabregas? No. I thought for a second Cesc Fabregas and I come like, is he not still playing? Um, They're all good squads from here on out. Like, if I'm if I'm scrolling past your squad, it means your squad is pretty damn good. Like, 450k and running Penny. That's what I like to see. In, in my defense, Penny is my starting point guard. Um, Jeez, everyone's got God squads, don't they? Man, I miss 2K21 was fun, man. I'm not even saying 2K21 was a much better game than this. I just really enjoyed 2K21 next gen. I had so much fun on that game. I know people hated it. I loved it. Not that I loved it. I just had fun. Especially when it first came out. Um But yeah. That seems to be it. A lot of like Solid squads. Oh, end game BS. I hated that so much. I hated that so, so much. And yeah, that seems to be it. That seems to be it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.